This is Twit. Apparently, Google very quickly updated um, its Android Q beta to right. the beta 2. I think it took like a week and a half after their initial release no or something like that. Uh, so, hey, there you go. We're on beta 2. I would dare I say it's less stable than beta 1. <laughs> I've, I've run into more issues on this for sure than beta 1. Really? Uh, but I haven't been using it very frequently because I've still been on the Samsung Galaxy S10 that I've already reviewed. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just didn't switch over my my Phi back over to my Pixel until today. Can today I, I did. Can I get a hand on that one? Yeah, here. Because uh, that's the S10, not the S10 Plus. Exactly. Yeah, oh. this is the S10. That's oh, just the middle oh, of the road. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the S10 Plus is, is is sublime, but it's so big. Yeah. And, and this, yeah. this this feels this feels got right. a nice size to it. Okay. Samsung makes Thank really big phones. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then I drop them on my foot, and that hurts. By the way, I have. I also bruise. have not been using the, uh, the the beta whatsoever. Okay. So I'm I'm pretty. This is all news to me. Okay. And I have to say, I have some very strong feelings about. Well, I mean, a couple more stories in, but. <laughs> so okay, so it seems like one of the big key features of the beta two update is something called bubbles, mm. and this is not a new concept in the world of Android, but apparently Google is embracing it, and if you. Sorry, go away, Google. I didn't just wake you up with my voice. Um, it's Google not like we haven't already seen this. If you have the Android dialer, uh, the the phone app, the stock mm -hmm. phone app, mm -hmm. and you get a call, I you get a little to bubble, on my right? Pixel. So you get a little, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. This will okay, keep coming okay, up. Okay, I'm you, sorry. I'm sorry. We know I know. It sucks. I get it. I, I'm sorry. Like, thanks for letting me get that in there. <laughs> okay. I just. Uh... This is your last episode of having a broken pixel before you mm, ship it back. So yes. you're you're allowed. Yes, thank you. Um, but if you get a call and you have that stock dialer installed, you get a little floating bubble, which mm -hmm. I don't know. Floating bubbles just seems like like. What it was that? Like a Five chat head, ago? right? Yeah, like like Facebook it's chat head. Uh, it's like a link bubble. Yeah, it just Thank screams you. Facebook. Feels a little old. Well, okay, it screams Facebook. It screams something that might be copy, but it also screams. Okay, we we have so many people who who complain about notches and punch holes cutting into their content. How about a how about a completely how about a floating hole? floating thing just covering everything <laughs> yeah. else? You're trying to watch your Netflix or something, and a chat head comes yeah, up. Yeah, I'm in the bath, yeah. and then somebody bothers me, and then <laughs> there goes my video. Do, do they not know that I'm in the bath? No, thankfully they do not know that you're in the bath right now. They know they do not know. Not I should have put to it on do not you. disturb. You're right. Yes. I, That's I, a prime I, do not disturb you're territory. Right, you're, right, you're right. I am against these bubbles to the fullest extent. As a UI thing, right? Yes. As a when UI they first thing. came out, were you excited about them? Because I remember when they first started, uh, those bubbles started no, popping. They were not um, exciting. They were. They, they were different. They were. It was a different kind of user. It was, it was like paradigm. the example of the kind of thing that happens to Android. It like just gets a bubble that appears out of nowhere. Because you like, can. Yeah, because, because that's you what can. you do on Android. Yeah. But like if you were going to see that on an Apple device, it'd be like, <laughs> what uh, is this? Yeah, yeah, why is this thing in yeah. front yeah. of my content? You know, that's what they're going to say. It's very disruptive. It's a very disruptive uh, UX element, in my opinion. And yeah. I can even tell you, like with chat heads, now that my parents are on Facebook, uh, my, my mother she finally uh, made it, did they? Yes. I left. So <laughs> yes. It's... There's literally a family chat right now that is just basically copied and pasted um, email threads from the rest of our family. So it's all it's all sensational and so it's cute. all very uh, like like emotion raging. Uh, so she, my mom, copied and pasted. But the thing is, the chat head only shows you the first line of the message, uh -huh. and it says "urgent, dangerous, blah blah blah." I thought she was in trouble. <laughs> And it was just a warning about something super mundane when I clicked <laughs> on it. I'm like, you interrupted me for that, really? And that's what's going to happen with this. You're going to get emails. You're going to get every application that you toggle for the bubbles. You know, yeah. it's, everything will interrupt you in this sense. And that's not fun. That's not cool. It was the point of digital well-being if you're like having all of these things popping at you and Thank reminding you. you. Yeah. I've actually turned off notifications in the last couple of months mm -hmm. um, to just nice? keep them from like nothing bothers yes. me except yes. for a phone call, which is kind of annoying with spam callers, but at least I'm still getting the phone calls yeah. and the text Jason, messages. Think, think kind of how I fly too. Think of, or the both of you, think of the most useless notification or email or message you could possibly get. And now think of it popping up in front of what you're doing. Thankfully, I have to, I, I, from what I understand, there's going to be some customization around this, okay. right? There there will be certain, A, the developers have to bake it in, bake in support for this. Mm. Don't bake uh, it. And Just B, don't. <laughs> uh, 
please. I th- you know, so which whichever apps choose to use utilize it. I'm sure. I'm sure I'm not going to get a floating notification for like a Google Play Store has updated 50 apps on your phone. Lord hopes like, not. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> there are just Google's certain categories that I don't all. think are going to appear in those notification. But models. you'll get the Google Play um, newsletter email through Gmail inevitably, right? Mm-hmm. That's annoying too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Emails know? probably, yeah. messaging. But I think you would have the ability as a user to turn this off. Yes. And actually in beta 2 right now, you can't even see this unless you... Uh, do an ADB c- command to activate it. So it's still early. Basically, I th- from what I understand, what Google is doing here is if you take the Android dialer as the example of the Google app that does this already, they're basically saying, well, we want this to be baked into the OS in a more, you know, in a more controlled fashion mm. than just having to code around it. So they're they're giving it an official spot. In the OS, as it was. Mm, you know, that might be just to keep other manu- other app makers from running rampant who do have the We've already head. done yeah. for years because this is not a new thing. It's yeah. crazy that it took this long. It's also very much not a new thing because on Samsung's UI, on one UI, you can actually minimize any app to be a bubble. It doesn't notify you but it's a bubble that you float, so yeah. it's easy to oh, get to. right, right, yeah, right. you can float any window, yeah. which I find very helpful when I'm in the bath. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just moving around different. Slowly getting, slowly getting a glimpse into how this Pixel Three broke. Like, no, that was no, that was Marilyn Monroe's ghost. Watch last week's episode to understand what happened. Other features, uh, gesture. I, I did. I'm not going to say improvements because I don't think that it's an improvement yet. But work. we're still complaining about Android P gestures. Yes. My gestures. Well, yeah, I know because a lot of people feel that it the gesture implementation MP was a very like half step. It was kind of half assed. It's literally a half swipe. Yeah. It's yeah. literally that's exactly. what it is. It's a half swipe. So the change here would be swiping right on a pill would switch would switch you to the app to the right, swiping left would switch you to the app to the left. Nope. Let me, nope. Hold on. Let me make I don't sure want it. Because that only makes too much sense. I don't want here <laughs> Let me just... I'm also very resistant to change. Okay, it's in my nature. So let's see here. I have no reason. Let either. me see if I can try it here. So if I go up to this, which you'll see later, that swipes oh. me to... It is smoother. Right? It so is swiping smoother. back and forth. The way you used to do it before, you'd have to go doop, doop, and, and you have to swipe to back. the right, and that would toggle you be, between yeah, two Yeah, and then you, could, then you could switch between do the Do you still get a haptic uh, vibration there? When I switch, yeah. yes, okay. I just I just felt it. I got okay. a little kick, uh, but you can see things are weird. Like, see down there, creeping underneath is this little like creeper uh, search. Yeah, the search bar. search thing that just looks really. So you know, we're always watching these. Yes, I know. <laughs> hey, I'm Google. I'm down here. What are you doing? I want to recommend something to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, you know, this is beta, so give it give it the. Uh, the the room it needs to exist. Yeah, exactly. Give uh, let the beta process happen naturally. Just let it happen, man. Just let it so happen. Let's see here. I'm going to take a screenshot to see if I can show off this next thing. So let's uh, share, and we have a new share menu. So and I'm hoping that it's Isn't okay. It? We're, no, good. No, we're good. We're good. We're uh, good. So we have a new share menu. So I took a screenshot and then I opened up to share, and it gave me a little preview of of what I'm sharing. And gives me, you know, contacts and apps and everything below it. I will say that it was kind of fast too. So they're working on speeding that, it, that up. So mm-hmm. that's good. Uh, notification swipe direction. So if I have it up here, you can basically go in the settings and determine whether uh, right swipes away and left is settings mm. or left swipes away and right is settings, depending on if you're left handed okay. or right handed or whatever. Personally, oh, yeah. I, I'm, I, I don't know. I understand what they're doing. They're trying to get rid of the half swipe in order to get to settings. Yes. Right? Well, also the snooze. but Well, and the snooze. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So they're making it so that one direction gives you those controls and the other direction gives you the swipe away. <laughs> That's but- what happened to Inbox. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, because <laughs> you, know, well, you know what? The snooze, I didn't know until like a month ago that that had been there all these years. And it could have helped me. Probably when because you never swipe that so way. Because you were so busy swiping yeah. away. Yeah. Well, yeah. they had that half swipe that I never like. You, yeah. who, who would slow down there? You right, know? <laughs> I know. Yeah, uh, we're but very, very way. rarely I would. A but. snooze for notifications, yeah. like that's kind of a productivity hack. Yeah. So that I wish makes I knew sense. that. Yeah. Absolutely. But they need to give you more details around that too, because if I remember correctly, let's see here, let's show it. Uh, and Inbox, I feel like, was kind of like the prime example of this. Yes. If I go here and I go snooze, snooze uh, for snooze for one hour, 
you get up you get to two little, hours. A little bit of time. Yeah. And the, I don't know. Like, I want more control than that. That's I, true. I want to go out like snooze till tomorrow. Give me snooze till tomorrow because often I want to push things off until tomorrow. Uh, two hours, that's not enough to work with. Yeah. Anyways, maybe they'll work on that. And just real quick, notification assistant is apparently some thing that I only vaguely understand, but it's a way, it's similar to what uh, Google had a, an app called the Reply app that would add smart replies into notifications of other apps. Similar to that, it would add buttons or adjust the priority of notifications into apps. Notification assistant is, is something in the settings that's... Uh, being designed to, to facilitate that. Media notifications now have a progress bar. So if I you have a mu music player mm -hmm. and it has a notification, you'll actually have a progress bar. I don't know if that's interactive. I don't yeah, know I if you can say, go like skip, I, skip I to three quarters. Be. I would imagine it should be. Well, yeah, and this screenshot on Ars Technica looks like it, it is. Yeah. So I imagine you could drop oh. that. So that's good. Um, you have to expand it and then it shows up probably. And then-, then You know what? I right. like that. Yeah, I like that larger volume settings menu. So it's big. This uh, kind of here, I'll show you right now. I'll, in fact, I'll go and get to it. Oh, here. so I'll go. There's the thing and there's the thing. So That's big, uh, larger volume settings that appears over the top mm -hmm. instead of taking you to the settings pane. So there you go. And lastly that I that I wrote down in the beta one if you took a screenshot and you had a notched phone it include the Big. notch and include the the round rounded corners that is gone now your screenshots look normal no. so how will we make it clear to everybody that we bought this phone? I exactly. want a notched phone <laughs> yeah I want everybody to know pixel <laughs> hashtag made with notch <laughs> made with notch. <laughs> so that's it uh Q beta two and I'm sure we're gonna have to well, I imagine the next update will be closer to I.O. I.O. is less than a month away now. Yep.